Hey everyone, I want to share some end of the year tax tips for you for 2023. Real quick, full disclosure, I am not a CPA, I am not a tax expert, but I am a licensed financial professional. I've been doing this for over 15 years and I'm just sharing my experience and what I know. So tip number one, if you have an FSA account, a flexible spending account, the deadline to use that money is December 31st. These are use it or lose it accounts. So you want to make sure that you submit any unreimbursed expenses that you still have. Tax tip number two, if you have an HSA, a health savings account, because you have a high deductible insurance plan, you want to make contributions to that plan before the end of the year because those contributions are tax deductible. So let's talk about saving money for kids. If you have a 529 account established for a child, a relative, or for yourself, if you make a contribution to that 529 plan before the end of the year, your state should allow you to write your contribution off as a tax deduction on your state tax return. You cannot take this deduction on your federal return and your state has to have income taxes, unlike Texas and Florida and any other states who don't have any income taxes. So for those of you who are philanthropic, if you like to donate money to charities, you want to make sure you do that before the end of the year, because then you'll be able to write off those charitable gifts on your tax return. So for those of you who have a traditional IRA and you've actually been interested in converting it to a Roth IRA, you want to do that before the end of the year, especially if you have some losses in your traditional IRA right now, because when you convert that account, you're going to take a tax hit. So you'll be taking a tax hit on a lower balance, but whatever is left over will go into the Roth IRA. You want to get that done before the end of the year. And while we're talking about IRAs, one last tax tip. Don't have to be done before the end of the year, but I want to mention it since we're talking about it. You can make IRA contributions through the tax filing deadline of next year, which will be April 15th. And you'll be able to, especially for your traditional IRA, you'll be able to write off those contributions as a deduction. So take advantage of that. So I hope these quick tips were helpful for you. Please like the video, share it, and comment if you have any questions.